Nearly 70 years, the Portland Roaster Show has been a showcase for the best of the best in the Northwest hot rod community. Yeah, the show recently paid a visit to the Expo Center, and along with hundreds of custom roadsters, there was also some Hollywood star mm -hmm. power. Tony has more in today's Behind the Wheel. Of all the good-looking, show-stopping modern marvels on display recently at the Portland Roadster Show, one star stole the spotlight. That's right, the man behind Frank Punch Puncherello, Super 70s sex symbol Eric Estrada. As you might imagine, coming face to face with greatness requires a little bit of patience. He's here uh, signing autographs and greeting fans. In fact, he's in the process of doing that right now, so we're going to try and sneak in and grab a word with him. But once you have his full attention, he's all yours and the stories about life, acting, and his time on the 1970s hit TV show Chips begin to flow. My character was Italian. Right. Well, wait, it was Poncherelli. When I signed the deal, I walk into the producer's office and I say, you know what? It makes no sense to be playing Italian. Why don't we make him Hispanic or American? I'll right. change his name to Poncherello. Estrada, who is proudly Puerto Rican, has been living the dream ever since. I wanted to be a cop all my life. Yeah. And then I got bit by the acting bug, chasing uh -huh. a pretty girl into drama club in high school. Trouble. <laughs> well, what was her name? Christine Laporte. Okay, Christine. <laughs> she lives in San Francisco. Yeah. My wife looked her up for me. Oh, there you go. Turns out that Christine Laporte Port wasn't the love of his life, but acting was. I got bit by the acting bug and decided I want to be an actor. And then I got lucky enough to play a, a cop. Chips made him a star, but he's played other roles, including Johnny on Dos Mujeres Un Camino, one of the most successful telenovelas in Spanish language television history. The reason I became an actor was because I loved it and I wanted to make a lot of money to get my mother out of the projects yeah. and have a living well. And you did all that. I did yeah. all Today that. Today happens to be your 75th birthday. Today, yes. So, I mean, not 55, not 65. 75, 75. Baby. What are you doing to keep this going? <laughs> it's the greatest. Grease. It's the grease. It's the grease. <laughs> Being surrounded by all of these roadsters also got the birthday boy thinking about cars he's owned over the years, including a Ford Galaxy that was one of a kind. Vinyl top uh -huh. that was shredded. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it looked like, bro it looked like Brillo. <laughs> And then when I sold it, it's supposed to be a V8. Right. It was only a V7. Uh-oh. <laughs> and, and when I sold it to upgrade, I sold it for $150. Oh, my God. <laughs> Best car you've ever owned. What was that? Best car you've ever owned oh, that you wish you hadn't sold? My Corniche. Really? I had three of them back oh in the day. God, look when at I was you. Flavor of the Month, I had a lot of toys. Hey, man, you're a favorite <laughs> flavor of a lot of people. It's been a thrill to meet you. And happy birthday. Thank Congratulations thank on this a, a great career. And thank you for coming to Portland. Hey, Yes, sir. Yeah, you think. All right. Mm. Cornish, of course, is a Rolls Royce. Yes. And as you say, he had three of them. Oh. So, yeah, he had uh, nice toys in the he day. Did very well. <laughs> yep. But, yeah, it's fantastic to meet him. I couldn't believe he was 75. I mean, it right. just, I'm just I'm always so amazed at how people are really just extending into, you know, what mm -hmm. used to be old age yeah. and just living as uh, the well, healthiest. And he's thriving. Life. Yeah, I, I mean, just clearly. Yeah. yeah, but you explained it a little bit when you when you said, where are we going to sit to do this interview? Oh, yeah, yeah. He has this uh, sort of an energy of like this, uh, of a kid. Yeah, he's, he's, he's fidgety. He's, he's on the go. He doesn't want to <laughs> yeah. be kind of caught uh, sitting still for too long. So, yeah, yeah. great guy. So fun. Moving. They probably yeah. didn't put him in any sort of medication as a kid to no, calm no. him down. <laughs> so he's just right. able to just yeah. keep on going there. Oh, uh, we're going to go 